you do not have unlimited amount of everything, unlimited amount of resource to produce unlimited amount of all the goods that you desire, you will have to make a choice what to produce, in with what quantity you should produce a particular good. So, that leads to our the next term and that is allocation. So, what do we mean by allocation? Allocation is nothing but assignment, allotment, share, but in economics we are more technical about this particular term allocation. So, allocation here means solving these three fundamental or basic question of economics and the first question is what to produce. The second is how to produce and third is for whom to produce. So, let us talk about this question first, what to produce. Let us look at to answer these three questions one by one starting with what to produce. Let us imagine a very simple economy, we will time and again in this course, we will to make our life simpler, we will assume a very simple version of it. So, let us talk about island economy, this island economy is populated by only two individuals, one is Robinson, Robinson Crusoe and second is Zena. Zena the warrior princess, names are immaterial just to make story interesting. So, do not pay attention to names just ok and there are only two activities on this island, this island. The first activity is catch fish and second activity is gather coconut ok. So, now of course, here no literal production is taking place, but again we will use it in a very loose sense. The production here involves catching fish or two production activity catching fish or gathering coconut. Okay. So, now the first question is how they should, what they should do? Should they devote all their time to catch fish or should they devote all their time for gathering coconuts, okay? because see time here is scarce, scarce resource available to them. Okay? So, if they spend all their time catching fish, they would not be able to gather any coconut or otherwise also. If they spend all the, their time gathering coconut, they cannot catch any fish. So, they have several options there devote part of the time to catch fish or devote all the time that they have to catch fish depending on their need. So, how this allocation involves making this decision what to produce. The next is how to produce. Now, let us bring just to understand let us bring the third activity that they can take up is that they can fabricate net that would help them catch fish. Okay. So, how to produce involve are they are, are they going to use their bare hand to catch fish or they are going to make net to catch fish. So, of course, this decision is about technology what kind of process they would use to produce these two items and third is about once they have produced, how they are going to allocate, how they are going to share, how they are going to give these collected coconuts and fish among themselves, Robinson and Zena. So, these are the three fundamental questions. And depending on who makes these decisions, we have different form of economy, who makes these decisions.
So, let us look at something what we call command economy. In command economy, a central authority typically government, some sort of government determines how to produce, what to produce and for whom to produce. So, government or a central authority is the decision making body. Okay. So, here individuals they do not have to make many choices, government decides for the individual. Okay. The second we can think of is market economy. Here as opposed to command economy, here decisions are made by individuals. For example, let us say a farmer in West Bengal produces some rice. Okay. Nobody tells him how he should produce, what he should, how he, he should uh, where he should send the, his produce. So, what is happening there? The individual is deciding on his own about these allocation questions. Third is mixed economy. Here, it is somewhat a mixture of command and market based economy. So, some decisions are made by central authority while some other decisions are left to individuals. Now, think of it, how would you categorize Indian economic system? Do we have command economy or we have market based economy or do we have mixed economy? Also, it is good idea to think about what we had before 1991 and what we have after 1991. Okay. Just to let you know, earlier we had mixed economy. But heavily tilted towards command economy, central planning. But after 1991, after economic liberalization, we are slowly moving towards market based economy. But we are not yet there. So, still we would say, I would say that we have mixed economy. But realistically speaking, these are two extreme command economy and market economy. All the economies of this world, we can say we can characterize them near to command economy or market based economy, but truly speaking none of the economies are purely command economy or purely market based economy. One concept that I would like to emphasize here is laissez faire. This is a French word, it means leaving it alone. Okay. So, what is, what do we mean by leaving it alone? But here in laissez faire kind of economy, of course, it is an extreme version of market economy, where private parties are absolutely free from government interaction, intervention such as tariff tax regulations. So, individuals transaction, they transact without any interference of the government. Okay. So, this is a concept, an extreme concept that we typically do not find, but you would say, you would see in newspapers talk about moving towards laissez-faire or moving away from laissez-faire. 